Hi, my name is Kat. I'm one of the animators here at Cartwheel. Today I'm going to show you how you can use our new video to animation tool to get a head start on your animation blocking. I'm going to show you how it works. When you're in Cartwheel Studio, look at the bottom right and you'll see a button that says Upload Capture. Once you click it, you'll have the option to, of recording directly from your computer or you can upload your video, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, here on my desktop, you can see here are all of my little videos that I took of my animation that I would like to make. This is the one I want. Uh, so I'm just going to drag that directly into the upload area. And right now it is preparing the video for trimming. I'm just going to wait for that to finish. All right, perfect. So the start of this video looks fine to me, but I am going to cut off the end when I step awkwardly out of the bushes here. I think I can finish my animation just right around here. I'm also going to choose to save it to my profile so that I can reference it later, uh, be able to riff on it, add other animation to it, edit it, etc. And I'm just going to click finish. And now it is preparing for video upload. So now it is uploading. So now what's happening is that Cartwheel is watching my 2D video reference video file. And and from that, it is transforming that into a physical 3D performance on an actual rig, our main character here named Axel. And then from that point on, I'm going to download it from Cartwheel and import it into my Maya scene and transfer that animation onto the character that I want to be animating. So I'm just going to wait for that to happen. All right, perfect. So here we have animation from my video reference. Here you can see it one-to-one. -one. Uh, you can see a couple of things here I'd like to point out. I'm just gonna open up the advanced tab and change some of these uh, visual settings here a little bit so I can see some stuff better. Uh, foot contacts, we're working on that right now. In fact, by the time you watch this video, there's a possible chance that we have already solved that. But you can see the characters floating above the stage just a little bit. Uh, we're working on that. Just wanted to mention that really quickly. Uh, I also really recommend uh, naming uh, your session up here at the top. I'm just gonna call it uh, take three. Uh, this is really important because if, when you're accessing everything in your history panel, it's just an easier way to just make sure that you're able to recognize all these different files and uh, just keep yourself organized. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I can do with this shot in Cartwheel right now. I can uh, add animation to it, I can edit it, but for the sake of this demo, I'm just gonna go ahead and download the file and get it into Maya right away. So once I hit download, I'm gonna choose Maya at the very bottom of the list. I have a couple different options here. I can uh, adjust the frame rate, I can, and I'm gonna keep it at 24. Uh, I can turn um, spline simplification off. I'm actually gonna keep that on because I do not want a uh, key on every single attribute on every single frame. I would like for Cartwheel to clean up the animation data for me so it's easier to edit. So I'm keeping that defaulted to on. And I'm also keeping my regular default settings here for IK feet set to on and FK hands. Now I'm just going to hit the download button and wait for it to download. Okay, perfect. So here is my download file, which I'm just going to quickly open up right here and show you what's inside. Inside we have a scenes folder that includes our actual files that we download directly from Cartwheel. Uh, it also includes the source images. This is more important if you're creating a custom character in Cartwheel or uploading a custom character into Cartwheel. Uh, and it also includes the script folder. So this is pretty important. This is a Python script that you need to uh, install in Maya. We have some videos on how to do that, but you need to make sure that that is done. Uh, once you've done it once, you don't need to do it again, uh, but that needs to happen before you can actually transfer any animation from Axel onto any other character, which is what we're going to do now. So I'm going to open my Maya session and I'm going to take my file that I have downloaded from Cartwheel with my animation on Axel and I'm just going to drop it right into my scene. I'm then going to just move my character out of the way that I want my animation on. So now you can see here's all of my animation on Axel, which is great. And if you take a look too, you can see that because I have curve simplification turned on, 
uh, in my graph editor, you can see that for the most part, my splines are looking pretty clean and are a lot easier to edit than they would be otherwise if there was a knot on every single one of them. Now we are making updates to spline simplification. It's getting better and better and better. So by the time you watch this video, I bet these splines will look even more clean. But just wanted to mention that. All right, so anim transfer. This is the script that I was talking about. Okay, cool. All right, so here is my animation that I downloaded from Cartwheel on Axle, and here is that same animation on my Maya character. Now I can basically hop in and decide what things I want to edit, but this has saved me a whole bunch of time. So I'm pretty happy with this, even though I see a lot of things that I would like to do to make this performance a little bit more exaggerated, cartoony, and entertaining. Uh, I'm really happy with the time that it's saved for me now. All right, I hope you learned something and I hope that this tool saves you a lot of time. I'm really excited to see what our users make with our video reference to animation tool. Uh, so definitely share your work. If you have any questions or run into any trouble at all, please reach out to us via email or on our Discord. The entire team is there. We're all looking forward to seeing what you make with it. I hope you have a great time animating. <laughs>